A Rainbow of Religion is a book produced by the 8th grade class of Four Rivers Charter Public School in Greenfield, Massachusetts. The book is a compilation of monologues for diverse religious leaders from the Greenfield community with whom the students had conducted interviews with the purpose of learning more about the beliefs and practices of different religions. Wait, what? Religion and the Common Core Standards? Really? Robin Wilson, the teacher who inspired this project, explains her approach. Religion is is not explicitly part of um, the Massachusetts state standards, but it's definitely in there because you're it's you're studying like the Golden Age of Islam. You're studying um, the Middle Ages, like the Renaissance, the Reformation. So I felt that. Hey, let's just do this religion project and then we'll be touching upon all of these um, sort of more topical um, subjects in social studies. That sounds great, but what are some of the specific skills that this project included? Speaking, so they were doing public speaking, interviewing, they were um, editing, so editing expository, for expository writing for a very specific audience. Um, I just think that it was really rich, uh, full of really authentic English social studies skills. The book includes interviews with leaders from a multitude of faiths, and their monologues explore issues of faith, community, history, language, and even politics, ethics, values, and many more. So yes, you can explore, discuss, and learn about religion and still be covering many of the Common Core state standards and dispositions. As we can see, this one project alone covers a number of standards. Of course, in this video, we won't be able to cover all of them. So, for the next few minutes, we'll focus on illuminating one standard as we explore the development and creation of this inspiring project. The process for this project included several stages that the students worked on. The first stage was conducting the interviews, the second stage was editing the monologues, and then the final stage was the production of the final book. We'll focus on the first two stages. Robin Wilson explains the learning experience during the interview stage. We had an expert come in who is a professional interviewer and she basically uh, taught the kids how to conduct an interview, how to make eye contact, how to nod, how to smile, how to ask follow encouraging follow-up questions. And actually, it was really interesting. It was a great process, I thought, to talk about what questions we should ask, because we started with our own questions, but then how do you formulate the questions into something that is um, respectful and authentic and uh, open-ended? Um, so. I think just learning how to ask open-ended questions in a thoughtful manner uh, was inc incredibly um, illuminating for them. The second stage was editing. This time, let's hear from the students themselves. That was a long process. <laughs> we had to type exactly what they were saying, and then we would go through and edit it all, and then we would edit again. I think we there were like six, five or six, six edits. Uh, we did six edits. thing on the board, and we yeah. had to like check off how many edits we did. And we had to do six edits, ridiculous. and then we had a final draft, and then the final draft we had to reorganize into something that could be right, easily right read, and that was like a good piece of writing. So that was a very long process, and it was like the first real English uh, thing I had ever done. It was long, but it was real, and that's what we need to focus on. The final product of this project was not a writing standard or even a book of monologues. As the students so eloquently explained, this project carried far more important messages. One thing that stuck with me was just that there are so many people that have different perceptions on what they believe in and how they see the world and how religion can really be like a huge, huge part of someone's life. I think for me, it's sort of all. Seeing that kind of really like wholehearted openness towards us, like sharing that moment with us and then also feeling that every day, 
that's like very eye-opening. It definitely changed my perception.